Hello there. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the a special thank you for liking us webcast <laughs> featuring Lauren O'Connell and Natalie Dawn. Uh, thank you especially to all the people watching at home and all those people in the audience here at the Patreon office. Hooray! Yay! Tonight we have a cavalcade of wonderful songs as well as another cavalcade of wonderful questions. <laughs> so we'll be diving into those throughout. But, uh, I don't understand that word. Sorry, what? I, I made it up. <laughs> <laughs> a flim flam of wonderful questions. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're going to be playing some dynamite songs and we're going to be playing some dynamite questions from my mouth, which you'll then answer. <laughs> this is so Alrighty. thrilling already. <laughs> All right. Take All right. it away. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm going to just play a note and you can just kind of um, improvise mm. with it. Yeah, just, just see what feels good. Oh, that one didn't sound very good. We'll try it again. Mm. No, I'm going to roll with that. <laughs> Some people say a man is made out of mud A poor man's made out of muscle and blood Muscle and blood and skin and bones A mind that's weak and a back that's strong You know, 16 tons What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt Well, St. Peter, don't you call me Cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine Picked up my shovel and walked to the mine Loaded 16 tons and number nine coal And the straw boss said, well, bless my soul You load 16 tons, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt Well, St. Peter, don't you call me Cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store If you see me coming, better step aside A lot of men didn't, a lot of men died One fist of iron, the other is steel If the right one don't get you, then the left one will You load 16 tons, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt With St. Peter, don't you call me Cause I can't go I owe my soul To the company store good to be at Patreon. Um, we have a kind of crazy audience here, not just the people online, um, but also the uh, people who are right here. It's, it's this really cool group of about half uh, patrons and half people who work at Patreon, um, which is really cool. Um, and uh, I was paid to say Patreon at least 32 times in the first three minutes, so I'm hoping... Patreon, 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 <laughs> Patreon. Um, anyhow, thank you. It, it is actually, it's really cool to be here. This is a big part of how both Lauren and I make a living as uh, full-time artists. So um, this is just the perfect venue to be playing music for you, for you all tonight. So thanks. We're, um, yay. Should have probably been switching yeah. instruments instead of talking that whole time. Yeah. But now that I'm in tune. <laughs> <laughs> Just say Patreon to cover. <laughs> Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. I think it might be helpful. Like, what are some other ways that people might think they should pronounce Patreon? <laughs> Patreon. Let's just get that out there. <laughs> Patreon. Patron. Um. Patron. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this is a song from my album Haze. There's an orchid in my cup holder And it makes me think of you 
So frightened by the roaring winds But clinging to its roots And I hope you get the chance to see What the good Lord sees in you But while we wait I'll orchestrate this small table for two all the praises in the world are all I have to offer you. I must not sing them loud enough, cause none of them, none of them ring true. So when we've had our final course and all the wine bottles are through, I'll wipe your eyes with eloquent lies and try not to be cruel Maybe when the days are longer we will find that Stop the unrelenting voices pounding in our brains But for now we'll sail the charted course And check our hands for stains Oh, hoist your glass to forgetting fast Till only good remains Hoist your glass to forget Still only good remains. Wow. Huh. I, sh I should probably have a more hostly composure, <laughs> but I'm just staring jaw on the floor like, oh, cool. <laughs> no, it's, it's great. It's really wonderful. You're one of the most prominent faces, so your awe really means a lot to us as we perform. For the next song, if we could just stay on Jordan the entire time with the candles, that would be wonderful. <laughs> You're ready for it. This is your moment. I'm ready for my close-up. Wow. Oh, I completely forgot you were all here. Hello. <laughs> oh, hey. Um, well... <laughs> I feel like some questions. Are you in the mood for some questions? That sounds great. Sure. If we look like we're not paying attention, it's only because we're tuning while we yeah. listen. Right. And if not, I'll just, I'll just yeah. ask, answer the question. Yeah, just, answer, <laughs> just answer for us if we're My not. creative process. <laughs> 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 Our very first question comes from Mark McCorkle. Thank you, Mark. Do you feel like having a Patreon audience has affected how you create and share your process and your work? Ooh, that's a really good question. Um, I definitely feel, I'm going to take a break from tuning for a moment to look like I'm paying attention, also so that you can hear me. Um, uh, I feel like having patrons has really uh, improved the, um, this is just going to sound like a huge plug for Patreon, and I'm sorry, it really isn't. I'm just being totally honest here right now. Um, but. Uh, uh, but Patreon is a website. You should go check it out. Um, so uh, so uh, I feel like I make way more stuff now. Um, this is also kind of strange. Do I look at you? Do I look at the camera? Do I look at them? Look at I'm me, just Natalie. Gonna... Look at me. <laughs> look, look at Mark. Look at Mark McCorkle, the question asker. There we go. So Mark, I'm so glad you asked. Mark, I'm so glad you asked. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I just feel like I make a lot more stuff, and um, whereas before I would just kind of be like, oh, it's you know, it's not ready. I'm not going to put it out. Now I'm just like, all right, put a bow on that. Put it out. You got to put it out. You got to give it to some people so that they can hear it. So I, I really feel like, I mean, it's not just a feeling. If you look at the amount of stuff that I've put out since Patreon has come out, it's like. It's like tenfold. I mean, I used to just be very, very guarded about what I thought the world was ready for. And now it just, I just put it all out there and whatever happens, happens. So, yeah. How about yeah. you? Uh, you know, I don't think I have a ton to add to that, but it's been sort of the same 
impact where it's like, uh, I don't know, like I'll drive myself crazy with my original music and like not give myself deadlines. And, um, but you know, it gives you as an artist a way to structure your life mm -hmm. and it, it creates deadlines for you, you know, if you're using it to make a living, which I don't know why I'm talking directly to you, like, but, um, yes, which <laughs> let me tell you about Patreon. Um, uh, and we both use it to make a living, of course. And, um, so we, you know, it's our livelihood. So it encourages us to structure things in a certain way. And I've, yeah, I've also, you know, found things to do when I'm not feeling creative. Yes. Yeah. That's another thing. You just make yourself do something. Yeah. Like, and I have to put out a song. It's going to be something. And frequently, it's actually something that a patron will request. And, it, you know, not like, hey, I think you should do this song. But, like, they'll have compared one of my songs to another song. And, and I'll think, oh, yeah, Still Crazy. That's a really good idea for a song. And then I end up covering Still Crazy after all these years. And then I'm, then I'm I just, anyhow, I love Paul Simon. That's all. Oh, there is to say. I think overall we can just agree that Patreon's a very good website. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Agreed. Cool. Agreed. <laughs> In closing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Anonymous stranger. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, so is that our question? Should I keep tuning or should I, uh, should I keep answering questions? I, I have a little follow-up on that question. Okay, we great. We can dwell on Mark's question for a little longer because it was such, I really like it. I think there's a lot of detail there. Um, <laughs> I'd be curious, you mentioned sort of the accountability and needing to be responsible to your patrons. Mm -hmm. Does it also help that the patrons themselves are the kinds of people you would want to share rough content with, things you're working on, things you might not be ready for? To yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically that you guys are ba just the um, easiest group of people to please is the wonderful thing about it. <laughs> it's like you signed up because you're like, anything you make, I love it, it's great, just mm -hmm. make things. And, uh, and I just feel like that just is such a, um, such a like, disarming thing, you know, like you just, you feel like, it, it does make me feel like, um, like it's just okay to put things out and like, and that it will be received, even if, even if, um, people aren't always like, that's the best thing you've ever made. They're at least listening to it. And um, I feel like the, the fact that there's, there's, I mean, all that we really want is art, as artists is for people to listen to our stuff. Like, you don't even have to pay for it. We don't care. Just like, mm. just like give it a minute. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and, uh, and it's so great to know that no matter what I make, I can put it out. And there will be a group of, an eager group of people just really just so glad that I've put something out. And that's, um, huh, yeah, such, such good people. And it's, it's an outlet for uh, things that we're experimenting with, like different sounds and yes. different production yes. stuff. Because it's a crowd that's just interested in the process. Yeah. Um, yeah and so I've we can kind of play with stuff, even if we're not going to fully go in that direction. Yeah. I've put stuff on Patreon that I would not put out to the rest of the world, just yeah. because it's like, hey, here's a song, I think. Maybe Bruno Mars would sing it, maybe, sometime. And <laughs> but I can't put that out. <laughs> That's great. That was the right answer. <laughs> Good. Thank you. <laughs> How are we scoring on this so far? Do you have a, everybody put up <laughs> ten, ten, oh yes, so many tens. Some of them are A's and B's. <laughs> What a terrible system. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Um, all right, I'm going to take a swig of this water, and then we can... Uh, Good idea. You just do everything I do. I hate it. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. <laughs> ah, the crisp, refreshing taste. <laughs> <laughs> of this non-branded bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, here we go. Uh, this song is called Professor. It is not yet recorded, but it will be, and it'll be com coming out on... It, why can't I yeah. say words? It'll be coming out on an EP really soon, in a few months. Uh, yeah, I feel like we should clarify. So there's kind of a mix of material we're playing tonight. Um, the first song was a cover, which you may have guessed. Um, <laughs> and then we played one of Natalie's new songs. And this is going to be... This is a new My Terrible Friend song. So just to clarify which who you're going to be searching for... 
on Spotify when we yeah. release this music. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're all taking vigorous notes. <laughs> so anyway, I'm excited to record this one. Yeah, me too. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Guitar functions. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. Um, a one, two, three, a two, two, three. Professor, professor, be my undresser. As I'm lying awake in the dark, I'm feeling inspired. in the park Professor Professor Don't judge me the lesser Cause you think I don't know how it ends If you think I'm frightened Cause you're so damn enlightened My dear I only fear I must Reprimand you Think you're so wise I'll admit you've got eyes But you never see me Let's take a chance Please shut up about France It'll never, no, never Professor, professor, my faithful de-stressor You're the reason I took up this art Now I've learned my lesson So we best start undressing Before you go ahead and break my poor heart I feel like I should be all professional. <laughs> oh, excellent play. <laughs> Very good job. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you guys, you're good at music. <laughs> good play music. Um, thank you. I feel um, this next song is one of Lauren's songs. It's one of my favorite songs that she's written, actually. Thank you. Um, and uh, uh, I don't know. I feel like this, this would be a good time to um, talk about all of the things that I appreciate about appreciate about Lauren. Um, since you might not know her, she is um, very good at guitar. Um, she is also an extremely uh, good songwriter, which I appreciate. Another thing I really appreciate about her is that um, she knows all the names of the actors in every movie. <laughs> um, she's just really good at that. I think that's a really great use of space in your brain. Yeah. I think you should keep I that know. up. It's a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need scales. <laughs> None of that. Just minor actors. <laughs> know them all. <laughs> Let's play how many Brendan Gleeson films can we name? <laughs> It was up to me to build this place Well, I had made the miles It takes a little shorter And I think I would tell the hills To lay to waste And soak up all the finger lakes So I could Straight in the lines Yeah, so I could Straight in the lines To anywhere If I was told to know my place, well, I think I would choose a space closer to yours. And I would use those 
those lines I drew to get real close A finger on my pulse because I think that It's strongest there, yeah, I think that It's strongest there near you Cause I do not belong to the night Mystery or song or moonlight to be a far begotten soul. Don't know what they do, don't know where such souls go. Cause I belong to you. And if the ground should start to break, well, I think I would allocate more of my bones. Keep our legs up and the tiny ones inside our hands Would plant themselves in doll frames and each other Or at least I hope with each other Or at least I hope they would Cause I do not belong to the night Mystery or song to be a far begotten soul I don't know what they do Don't know where such souls go Cause I belong to you should start to die I dig a well and bleed it dry and wait there for something to breathe cause I believe or at least I try that nothing is just born to die cause I think that we'd all just wait yeah I think that we'd all just wait if that were true I do not belong to the night Mystery or song or moonlight To be a far begotten soul I don't know what they do I don't know where such souls go Cause I belong to you I belong to you I belong to you so long as this world allows me to Learn O'Connell now we don't Where would you rank guitar playing when it comes to knowing obscure actors? Above or below? You mean in terms of your, your knowledge? Your skill Am I above level, yeah. average? Probably actors, honestly. <laughs> She's really good well, at actors. A lot actors. of people are really good at playing guitar. There are a lot of guitar players out there, is the thing. Yeah, but I really like your guitar playing. I think it's great. Oh, thank you. I think we can all agree that. Whoa, whoa, what's that? It's a patron question. <laughs> <laughs> How, did you practice that in front of the mirror for a long time? It's <laughs> real. It's on my phone. We're going to add a butterfly in post. <laughs> a really poor quality JPEG. <laughs> it just floats down. Uh, this next question comes from Harry Souza. Is Harry Souza in the audience? Harry Souza. Hello, Harry oh, Souza. Harry's here. <laughs> Hi, Harry. Hi, Harry. We've got Mark and Harry. Uh, Harry asks. As you gain more and more fans, does it make you feel more responsible for turning out quality things every month? Or is it more of an internal artistic drive? We touched a little bit on this in the last one, but I think what Harry's looking towards is more, um, do you ever worry that you're putting out something that you might not be satisfied with? Is that ever a barrier? All the time. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think I think the the thing is. Um, it really doesn't matter what the time constraint is. Even if you have absolutely no time constraint, every artist will anguish over something not being ready. It's just what we do. Um, we, feel, we listen to something over and over and over again, and it's like, you know, the drums aren't good enough, and this is, the production should maybe be a little different, and the strings maybe need to come down. Maybe I just, maybe I'll just, I'm gonna do this tomorrow. Um, <laughs> and that's like the process for most artists, I think. It's a stereotype, but it's relatively true, I would say. Yes. Um, so <laughs> 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 um, so, so it is good that um, I think uh, what a lot of people don't know, I guess, is that um, the way Patreon works is that you, um, for example, your patrons will pay you per thing that you put out. Um, so uh, it does sort of encourage you to be prolific, but at the same time, you don't want to um, lose the quality of your work. So that's where I think the question is coming from, is that because we're getting, you know, um, each each thing that we put out actually does translate to more income for us, that we are encouraged to be more prolific. Um, I think that's a really good thing, and I don't think that I have lost any of the quality of my work. It's just kind of forced me to get over something that will always be there, which is just that you never feel like it's done. You know, what is it that the, the quote that... Um, Art is never finished, just abandoned. Um, and isn't that, was that like Michelangelo who said that? Am I think I? it was Natalie Dawn. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> That's amazing. As I always say. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, okay. Thank you. Fact Thank you, anonymous checker. stranger. <laughs> Dif different Ninja Turtle. Um, <laughs> which Ninja Turtle said that? <laughs> Most great quotes <laughs> are one Ninja Turtle or As another. As Donatello, Raphael, yeah. yeah. He never said um, anything good. Um, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> how do you feel about uh, it? Miss, actually, I'm still sitting on my album and probably will be for a, a couple more months. That's me. <laughs> um, I, well, I thought about the question differently. Like, if I may, am I allowed to say something that's not related to Patreon? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> and... <laughs> and show, <laughs> and show, <laughs> cut. <laughs> um, so, aside from you know patronage, um, just in terms of having more viewers and the way that affects the way you create, that's something I have to like consciously put out of my head on a regular basis. Like I think about when I was, um, you know, like 17 years old and going to open mics and just like trying to prove myself, and nobody, nobody really thought. Nobody expected anything of me. Nobody really thought I was good, except some nice people at the open mics. And you just kind of like, uh, just the output was just crazy when I was that young, because I would just spew ideas, and most of them were bad. But you know, you get a lot of good things just from working in that way. Yeah. And Plus, I would, you don't find out they're bad until 10 years later. No, so, no. I wish I yeah. could like channel that cockiness once again. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> Was it about yeah, and so when I first started a YouTube channel before anyone was really looking at it, I would just like put out things I made with my friends because they were fun, mm -hmm. and it was just that self-editing instinct wasn't there yet. And you know, now that people, uh, at least a few people, show up when we put songs out, there's always the little voice that's like thinking about what people expect, and I have to consciously shut it down on a regular mm -hmm. basis. Yeah, if that's, yep. which is great. <laughs> 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 what advice would you have to this is a, a Jordan Cope original question Ooh, <laughs> uh, trademark <laughs> what advice would you have for a similar creator say a 17 year old artist wants to start creating and they might not have that cockiness maybe they do but they want to start putting things out with that kind of proliferation what tips would you have um, I try to I try to find it like I don't feel like it comes naturally anymore for me to be cocky in that way, which I think makes me a better person, but <laughs> in terms of art, it's different. So I, I try to find it and I try to like put myself in a safe mental space when I'm trying to come up with ideas where it's just, I try to remove any pressure that I'm going to put anything in front of anyone and um, try to work that way. And for me, that means working alone. That's not how everybody taps into that, but 
I think it. I don't think it's very good to think about anything you're doing as this is going to exist in the world forever, and so many people are going to care about it. Mm -hmm. um, I think you should just make things that you like, um, and uh, not worry so much about that. When I think about like the early days of uh, Pomplamoose, um, which was uh, a band that I was in, which I'm sure all of you know, but I feel like I should say it just in case there's one person watching who doesn't know that I, I am in a band called Pomplamoose. Um, when we started off and we were putting things online, I feel like there was so little awareness of longevity. Um, in, and there's, like, there's a purity to that. Um, and uh, so I think it's very good to be young and not super self-aware and not mm. <laughs> really, uh, you know, don't, don't spend like two months thinking about your band name. Just like pick something and go with it because it doesn't matter. Just like pick a thing, move on. Pick um, a thing and move on, I think is a good boiling down of this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We have, we have a follow-up question from the man himself. <laughs> Do you worry that sometimes you're moving away from an audience that you've attracted? That you're doing something that's going to be personally pleasing, but now you're going to disappoint people that sort of have an expectation of what's coming next? Yeah. So are you going to go like all electric and get like goth and do stuff like that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like, Pomplamoose did go electric. <laughs> Um, we did, like our sound got really electronic and there were a lot of people still to this day who comment on videos like, I like it when you were doing things before on the piano. Um, <laughs> and sorry, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be mean to those people. <laughs> that was me, that was my comment. <laughs> do, you want, do you want to look into the lens and say that? <laughs> And the truth is, like, every artist gets that. Every artist, I can't tell you how many times someone has commented, like, I like the things you did before, um, which is really not very helpful feedback um, in general, yeah. just because, you know, if I wanted to be making those things, I would be making them, but I don't, so sorry. Um, and so there is always this, there's, so partially you feel kind of like, oh, come on, just, like, let me, let me make things is part of the feeling. And then also there is that, I guess, awareness that like, if we do put this out, a lot of people won't like it, and do we want to lose that audience? I feel like the funny thing is that, um, I, I feel like so many people have just been along for the ride, uh, especially when it comes to the people who are like supporting me in, on an ongoing basis, that, you know? So um, I just feel like uh, I'm, not, I'm not that worried about it now. Um, do you do you worry about it? Um, I mean, it's, it's again like one of those voices that I have to try to snuff out. Um, I when I start wondering about those things, I remind myself that the I've been very very lucky in many ways to find the audience that I have, but I've gotten where I am by doing what I want, mm -hmm. and I think people have pretty strong bullshit detectors. So not only do I have no desire to do things simply because I think people want to hear them, but also I think that wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah. Then I just try to keep doing what feels good to me. Yeah. Dynamite. Do you want to play a song that we wrote together? Okay. <clears throat> that was a segue. Yeah. <laughs> Love to. I think it needs a beat. <laughs> Just kidding. Boom, ka, ba boom, boom, ka, boom, ka, ba boom. <laughs> That's the worst beat I could have possibly <laughs> made, like ever. It's gonna and now be great it's though. Online. <laughs> For forever. <laughs> uh, this song is called "If You Knew." We are in the process of recording it. Um, as as our band, which is called My Terrible Friend. Oh yeah, we should have. <clears throat> did did we explain that we have a band called My Terrible Friends? I don't know. We forget to do this. It just happened. <laughs> now you know. Yeah. Do you need a few more minutes to tune? I, yep. Okay. I, have, I have another hot question. Okay, great. This one not from Harry, despite all of his being Ooh. fantastic. <laughs> we have one from uh, Dominic Mandil, Mandile, maybe. Hi, Dominic. My Terrible Friends originals 
and covers are always so great. Would you two mind talking a little bit about the writing, song selection, and collaboration process on the covers? Oh, yeah, covers. Okay. Um, so uh, we haven't done that many covers together, have we? Have we done that many? I would say six or seven. Okay, we've done several covers together. <laughs> Um, uh, it, it's kind of, it, it tends to be songs that we have some sort of emotional reaction to. Like, for example, uh, the first song that we played, uh, on the bass, 16 Tons, with, which is, um, uh, Tennessee Ernie, Ernie Ford. Ford. Um, uh, he, so, so we heard that song at the end of Mad Men, uh, cause we were watching Mad Men a lot at the time. Uh, and we just... <laughs> Lots of. Uh, can you name the main cast of Mad Men? <laughs> there's John Hamm. There's Elizabeth Moss. There's Vincent Carthizer. There's John Slattery. January Jones. January Jones. I was waiting for that one. Yeah. <laughs> we can move on now. <laughs> Are we all tuned up? Yes. Okay. Cool. We didn't really answer that question. We can get back to it. We can just put a like a comma uh, yeah. on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A comma is what you do when you wait five minutes before you come back to something. <laughs> <laughs> dot, 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 yeah. dot. Five dots. <laughs> five dots. <laughs> Ready? <clears throat> yeah. Sounds like a guitar. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> yeah. All right. no light on the shore But it's never as simple as that And I couldn't wait anymore Ooh. I'm sure it wasn't my
you. Is the comma over yet? <laughs> so, uh, yes, please proceed to answer questions about how we choose songs. For all of you new viewers. <laughs> uh, I think this question has, like, a, has had a couple different answers at different points in our working together. Um, we first, um, we made an EP in 2010 called Room for Ghosts, uh, and we got the idea to do that, felt motivated. Um, when, so I moved to California to move in with Natalie and her now husband, Jack. Um, <laughs> and, and my husband. <laughs> Not, <laughs> yeah. Does that make it less weird? I don't know. <laughs> uh, there was a cat. Uh, <laughs> uh, so anyway, we were, <laughs> this story is like all over the place. So <laughs> we were, uh, Natalie flew out to New York where I'm from and we drove all the way across the country from New York to California and we actually hadn't known each other that long, so we spent the entire ride just sharing albums that we loved with each other. And we just... I don't remember this. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I do. I'm just good. <laughs> <laughs> it was really It was fun. all a dream. <laughs> um, and we just ended up getting really excited about a bunch of different songs and like we had to do them together when we got back. So um, that's right. Uh, we ended up doing a couple of those yeah, that EP. Um, but it's all it's like it's all songs that sort of have a story and I guess some something that we both we have a moment together where we both say that song is great and yeah. then we decide to do it. Yeah, that um, we slowly look at each other, like in the movies, <laughs> like never happens in real yeah. life. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> it's like that. Yeah. Um, uh, and then I think it's kind of been the same. We just like bring covers to each other and see if we both get excited about them in the same way. As yeah. far as writing, um, the ones that we did in 2010, we, there are three originals on that EP. And so at that time, we just kind of brought songs to each other that were fully written mm -hmm. and we collaborated on the sound. Um, and what we're trying to do now, we took a break from collaborating for like five, years yeah We're just busy ladies um so what we're doing now is more it's more collaborative co-writing mm -hmm. um trying to into the production the sound we're going for mm -hmm. and um yep. it's been really exciting to kind of try to meet in the middle because i think we both think very differently musically and we challenge each other a lot and i learned so much when i'm working with natalie and, and you make me want to be a much better guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, you make me wish I had perfect pitch. Um, and uh, oh, that was a very long-winded answer. But so we're, we're trying more and more to uh, go, I would say, like close 50-50 on the writing just to see what we come up with together as opposed to having something sound yeah. very Lauren or very Natalie. Yeah. And it's been exciting. Yeah. So this is another song that we wrote together. I'm really excited about. Oh, and this one's online, actually. You can watch it. Um, we've already uh, released it. It's called Almost Gone, and it's by um, our band, My Terrible Friend. <coughs> we good? Most gone, yeah, I'm all, most 
almost gone And it's all the same to you anyway Hey, ooh Trip on my shoelace, pack my stuff Don't know what I want, but can't get enough of the same Close the drapes and drain the bath Think I found the problem, can't do the math There's a song to sing When I'm almost gone And I'm almost gone And it's all the same to you anyway Hey, Faith So, so have been just so wonderful. We, um, we have one more song for you this evening. Um, and uh, It truly is our last song, no surprises or anything. We're gonna, we're gonna wave afterwards and then the cameras will stop. Um, yeah. But <laughs> don't but, mess this up for us, <laughs> that's the plan. <laughs> Um, uh, but yeah, before that happens, um, I'd like to take a moment to thank um, a few more people. We've, we've thanked Patreon several times. Thank you, Jordan, so much for being our host yeah. tonight. Um, I'd like to thank Steve for doing sound in the back there. Um, and uh, really, really a huge, huge thank, thank you to Pixelcore for putting on this um, whole multi-camera 4K event it's, it's so much bigger and so much better than anything I could have ever um, hoped for. So thank you so much to Alex and his crew. Yeah. Um, and now we have one more song. Yeah. Thank you to everybody just for, people in the room for sure, but everybody just watching. Yeah. Uh, give, uh, giving their Saturday night to watching us play some tunes. Um, it really means the world. Uh, and those of you who are patrons, of course, that is so important to us. And yep. uh, we are so grateful for your support. Yep. Um, so uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful chord. I like that one. <clears throat> I always put my tuner like a little bit too far away. <laughs> I think in my mind's eye I'm taller than I actually am. <laughs> Surely that's a common thing. Anyway. You look so um, the perfect height to me. Thank you. <laughs> I was fishing, so. <laughs> All right, 
All right. We didn't write this, but you'll know that in a sec. <clears throat> You doing that thing you do Breaking my heart into a million pieces Like you always do And you, you don't mean to be cruel You never even knew about the heartache I've been going through Well, I try and I try to forget you, girl But it's just so hard to do Every time you do that thing you do I know all the games you play And I'm gonna find a way to let you know that You'll be mine someday Forget you, girl, but it's just so hard to do. Every time you do that thing you do, I don't ask a lot, girl, I don't ask, but I know do. one thing for sure. No one thing's for but sure. Your love I haven't got, girl, and I just can't take it.